last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I don't think I can show my face around here if I wrote that. What's wrong with Barnaby the Smeg? You know, I always go all out for my birthday party. <gasps> You'll never find. Whoosh. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. After all, I fucking did it and I'll do it again. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? A train? Move? I can't believe it. I'm slipping. Hold on. I can't. Uh, oh. No. Uh-oh. I guess the train moved. Dear Christ. It's almost like it's its function. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit, this is some fucking Danganronpa shit! Holy fuck! You're, you're both awake! Yeah, it seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? <laughs> yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds! We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure! Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not, <gasps> I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. This is cool, dude. <laughs> we should go check on the others. Barnaby the loser, could you get... <laughs> can you get the door? <laughs> of course. Well, since the door's blocked, and I don't think it's budging. But the microwave's in here, so at least we got food, you know. Hey, Amy. Amy! 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 <laughs> Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Why the fuck would she have that on her? Uh, huh? Let's find another way out. Oh, let's start looking for clues. Dude, she did it. Amy did it. 100%. That's hella sus, dude. I'll search over here. Huh. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Dead, 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 dead. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help, bro. You're my sidekick, Tails. Listen, I know I'm a loser, but there ain't no fucking way. Let's get the clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check on everything you can around the closet, then we'll show it to Amy and uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure the people... Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Don't worry. Makasero! You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn I won't turn evil like ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Just kidding, I'm gonna kill you, Tails. Okay, so we can talk to Amy. Interesting. I like this game. You know, this is cool. Look in the trash. Always things in the trash. I'm calling it now. Something's always hidden in the trash. See, let's check here. Sadly it's empty. But on the bright side, it's very clean trash bin. How did I become as optimistic as this kid? How do I even start? Listen, the trash bin's got shit in it. I can see it right there. I'm calling Cap. So we talk to Amy. There's not that much around here. What are these? What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? He ain't cooking shit. <laughs> when we get out of here, sure. I never normally make microwave meals. I prefer to cook, because I'm not, I don't know, a fucking loser. <laughs> Come on, Tails. I only know how to use the microwave. I know I got a loser in my name, but that cuts deep. <laughs> my cast iron skillet's got a lot of use lately. Dude, how the fuck can Tails cook? Isn't he like eight? <laughs> I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. <laughs> oh, poor loser, man. <laughs> okay. The wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Or useless in this room. Once I slipped and spilled some juices at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Boo-hoo. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. He's so fucking dreamy. <laughs> wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. Wow, <laughs> dude. Amazing observation. But he was going fast and also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart and killed him. <laughs> that should be the murder mystery. Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. Shelf's blocking your exit. Hey, Barnaby the Loser. Look closely at this. A hole in it. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing on the shelf that could have fallen onto it. And I'm pretty sure this damage wasn't here before. This train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should lock it. You're right, Tails. We should not uh, lock the, like, no, <laughs> out in the middle of the fucking thing. Crack on the shelf. 
Right, what's up, Amy? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. <laughs> Good job, Amy. <laughs> if we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? Hey, listen, they did it in The Great Escape. Uh, I'll keep looking. Start investigation. Interrogation, sorry. I don't think we have enough evidence. What do you mean, bro? There's nothing else. We've clicked everything. We've literally clicked everything, right? Is there anything else? Maybe the drawers? We looked at the Scooby Snacks. They're literally... Oh, a baseball bat! What's this, a rod? <gasps> it's a Pico Hammer. It's snapped. The tip's broken. It looks like it would have been originally attached to something. It's a Pico Hammer. <gasps> I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick. Great. <laughs> I think we found enough clues. One thing. Alright, Amy. You broke your Pico Pico Hammer on the side of the thing trying to get out. I'm calling it. What's the latest? <laughs> <laughs> Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? Do you accuse me of my own birthday? What the fuck, Tails? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like you two, so what in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy's awake before Tails and I are. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape. Mur murdered a suspect. <laughs> I don't think you were sitting idly while Barnaby the Loser and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me the evidence that I attempted to escape. <laughs> bro, why is this like a fucking crime? <laughs> Who gives a shit? You tried to escape, bro. Just fucking admit it. Do we have evidence? We have more than enough evidence. Yeah, whatever. Let's fucking prove it. This. What? Some damage on the self? Is she supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument there. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? How does it crack on the shell? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. We followed this train of thought. Well, you see, I... Well... Hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? <laughs> WWSD, dude. What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting his rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play that a lot on my th <laughs> You think I'm falling for your shit? You think I'm gonna buy your endless runner, Sonic? I am buying fucking Sonic Runner, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not doing that shit. Or maybe I will. Who fucking knows? Sure, whatever works. You close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do? <laughs> what would Sonic do? I know exactly what Sonic would do. Think. Da, 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 da. Holy shit, this is awesome! Uh, yeah, sure. Are you ready? Yeah, we're gonna use the arrow keys. Why not? I've been playing a lot of Amori. <gasps> Shit! I almost immediately barreled onto the rings. Listen, I played Sonic EXE recently. Card, check it out. Uh, there's one thing I am. It's good at this game. <laughs> I'm a Sonic master, okay? I've been playing Sonic Frontiers as well in my own time. Pretty good game. I need to get back to it. Hold it! <laughs> sure, the shelf fell. There's nothing around it for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, the damage was here before we arrived? Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, I... I believe something is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. Then what would the shelf hit with, then? Your Pico Pico hammer. Fuck knows what happened to the squeaky part. What is that, a stick? Don't act like you don't know what this is, Amy. Do you truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Think. Think. <laughs> We're gonna collect more rings, let's go. Dude, hell yeah, we're popping off. Dude, this is so cool, I like this. <laughs> These are like the little mini games that don't go wrong for you. Now we're gonna go surfing soon. Dude, Sonic would go surfing as well. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. <laughs> ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? It's your Pico Pico fucking hammer. This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. Ah! 
You attempted to hit the shelf out of your way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, ah! We win. <laughs> it says you both said, I tried to get this all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big rack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She seems like genuinely sorry about the situation. Hmm. Okay, Amy. I don't know if I believe you, though. Where's the other end of your Pico Pico hammer? I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. Yeah, they broke like fucking robots and shit before. How did it break on a fucking shelf? <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Oh, dude. That was kind of wholesome. Just tighten little things here, a little elbow grease, and fixed. How the fuck did you fix that, Tails, in this little closet? Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back! It's girl bossing time! The shelf completely shot, incredible. We get it, we're free! Dude, I really like this uh, this blue little furball car thing that Amy's got. It looks really cool. She's like the flamingo in it, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Hell yeah. Uh. The whole train is ruined. Wait, is that... <gasps> Sonic's dead! No! Someone spilt the wine! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my dog! Why is a reaction like that? <laughs> Someone murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> Looks like the game's begun! I planned this! <laughs> I'm finding out who did this at once! Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did it too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. <laughs> Fuck the microwave meals. We're going to find out who killed Sonic. That was really convincing, Sonic. <laughs> Little thumbs up comes up. Thank you. Mm. Sonic? Eh, body numb, can't move. Wait, what wh What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Is Sonic dead? Is Sonic actually dead? Sonic, Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the water's going on? Is this part of the mystery? Where is this serious? Dude, I'm calling it the conductor did it. You killed Sonic. No way with any of Sonic's friends killed Sonic. Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, I found myself panicking. Calm down, Barnaby, you loser. What, what do I do? What am I gonna do? Yeah, we get it. Fuck you, conductor. I know you did it. I'm gonna murder Mr. Reese. I know you did it. I need to catch up with Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even this is, if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. From you, you fucking murderer. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Holy crap! This is wild! God damn. The saloon god. Dude, this is so cool! Whoa, look at this place. Amy! Amy, are you here? <laughs> I've looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone ahead. It seems she's really excited. She didn't realize Sonic's dead. Do you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. Or would it? <laughs> <laughs> We're just already committed to the mystery for Amy. We have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Help, I'm dying. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is something else? Something deeper happened. I need to get more evidence to find out what's going on. It's my job to keep an eye on you. Do I want to still hang around Tails? Alright, can I tag along? You don't mind? Is it cool if I tag along with you? Uh, of, of course! 
If ever I need a snack, you've got me, right? <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have- Oh man, we're the Mayan Fae, but we're not even like endearing, we don't like burger, we don't have anything cool to ourselves, we're just dumb, we're just a loser. If you ever catch me looking glum though, just know it's because, uh, wh where's my little card? <laughs> the last guy to work on a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Egg, but we know Tails. <laughs> not a proper detective without baggage. Mm, this is true. <laughs> you varmints! I'm Rick Grimes! <laughs> what? Oh my god, do I have to. <laughs> I have to give him a fucking cowboy accent? What are you all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles! We're trying to find out who murdered Sonic! I can see that. Amy Mosey threw and told me all about it. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Wondered how long he was going to keep up that voice for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you, what you were up to before the murder. Anything to establish? He felt like blood all over his knuckles. Uh, wasn't me, dude. <laughs> Anything to establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. <laughs> what the fuck, Knuckles? <laughs> He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles. So it seems like we're on our own. Barnaby the loser. <laughs> we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to before we were apart. Oh, goddammit, we have to do this in every room? Right, let's do it then. Clearly we won't be able to play a game of Super Monkey Ball. Oh my god! What, what a cool... Dude. Fucking hell. Just take a drop in all the references. Do you think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look like it could be caused from punches? Knuckles has any problems. Who could have done that? <laughs> I fucking wonder. What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is <laughs> What the fuck? Smashed arcade is added to inventory? Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory of something always hidden in the trash is kind of flawed. No, it's right, Tails. You never played Pokemon? It's only a matter of time, Tails. I'm checking everyone. <laughs> Some people call this junk, Tails. Me? I call them treasures. I think Tails is ignoring me. Fuck you, Tails. A bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. No, leave it away from me, dude. Hmm, kind of bland. Oh, seems like someone licked all the salt off them. Dude, that's gross as fuck. <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. Barnaby the Loser, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty and wanted separate cups, apparently. There's blood all over... No, that's Rouge. Is that Rouge's lipstick? Maybe. Barnaby the Loser. This one has lipstick on the rim. That's not because it's color at all. <laughs> Someone else must have been here. We should lock this. I bet it was Rouge. She's literally the only one that would wear lipstick. Or maybe Amy, I guess. But I don't think so. Let's go interrogate Knuckles. Is that everything then? What about the saloon doors? <laughs> That's funny. The doors are locked tight. We can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked? And how long were they locked for? I'll have to keep this in mind. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles, are you... <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. <laughs> Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Start interrogation. Da, 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 da. Knuckles, Barnaby the Loser and I need to determine what you were doing during the murder. Told you already, buzz off, you're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. It's called visual storytelling, okay? Huh? It is? <laughs> it is called visual storytelling. We have evidence too. We do? Burn to be the loser. Just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time that Sonic was murdered? He got angry at, video at a video game. He game-raged. The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I 
What makes you think I touched it? I don't know, the giant fucking glove size punch in the top? <laughs> think. I'm gonna think, dude. Think long and hard about this one. Fuck. Holy shit! No! I'm not ready! No! Oh my god, this is actually fucking hard! Okay, uh, no! No! Dude, there's so many obstacles! We didn't do it! None of the rings! Run it back. And what you see, you have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. Yeah, let's try it again. Listen, I wasn't ready. The game hit me with a lot of curveballs there. Hell yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're freaking cooking. Take that, Knuckles. That enough rings for you. Stick a ring up your fucking ass. <laughs> This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because there's a giant fucking hole in it. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. Your hair was found at the scene. Our arcade cabinet was covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> Everything on this like train has been smashed. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. <laughs> no, not even the um, Omachow fucking reward sign, apparently. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Pretty sus. <gasps> I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. Huh? Oh, how will you? I'm on it. Barnaby the loser, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! <laughs> Fight Knuckles. <laughs> Check out my cool epic gaming skills, Knuckles. You're gonna love it. I'm something of a gaming master, you know. Check that out. There's your 30 rings, Knuckles. Is that enough for you, Mr. Gamer? That's right. Pretty damn good. <laughs> the arcade machine is fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! <laughs> it says ass at the top! <laughs> Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Oh my god, he called me Vector. What a loser. And I thought I was the loser. <laughs> okay, what does this tell us? Uh, Knuckles is a sore loser and loses by one point. Nothing, obviously. <laughs> it tells us something massive. That lipstick must have been Vector's. <laughs> he came through here. <laughs> look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You can beat it with Vector to see if you can get the highest score. And Vector beat you! <laughs> Don't fucking rub it in my face, bro. An infestation, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. What a fucking razor. Grrr. He's punching the air, infestation. We better move away. <laughs> You're guessing. What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. The nuts? Maybe he likes nuts? <laughs> Victor likes nuts. Shit, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck, you have nothing, Zilch. Yeah, sorry, I fell off the fucking edge. My bad. Whee! Boom shakalaka. Dude, this game's awesome. Shit. Fuck, are you kidding me? Man. Whatever, whatever. I keep fucking up. We're back in it. Dude, this is so cool. As a big Sonic fan, uh, this is very cool. Shit! Are you kidding me? Fuck! How many times can I mess up with the same game? Fuck! No! Hey, perfect. We got pretty much just about as many rings as we need. Thank God, at least we didn't fall off this time. Think. Now, Barnaby the loser, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Um, what does prove Vector was here with Knuckles, actually? The lipstick? A map of the train. 
Um, I guess he's only one thing ahead, so maybe the map? It can't be the lipstick. There were three glasses, there were three glasses. <laughs> Which makes sense as well, because Rouge uh, Knuckles hang out a lot. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Are you supposed to be participating in a murder mystery game for Amy's birthday? You and Vector enjoyed some drinks while playing arcade, and he kissed you with his fucking lipstick. It's... I'm... It's not like... It's not. It wasn't. Uh, don't tell Amy! I think we're right on track here. It's like you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play arcade game machine. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. <laughs> I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I I've told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the one with the lipstick markup? Hmm. It's fucking Rouge. Rouge was in here too. Called it. <gasps> Rouge! There she is! <laughs> Me when I see Rouge. <laughs> it's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. She's not a gamer. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I've told you everything that's happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent or repent? <laughs> I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, and Knuckles destroyed the machine. That don't make sense to me. Thank you for answering our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Hmm. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list doesn't make sense. Candy. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Barnaby the loser. Can you take one can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list. What is Tails talking about? Could it be um Toast, Apple, Bread, Altim? All of the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Alton? Ultimate life form with Shadow. <laughs> wow, Shadow did shit, dude. You may not know this Barnaby the loser, because you're a fucking loser. <laughs> but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> this really hurts. <laughs> what a fucking ego. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game. But then Shadow dropped by. He didn't want any water, apparently. Or maybe he was wearing the lipstick. <laughs> so Shadow was here too. He taught us the game. Wow, really? Uh, and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Victor and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. The key. Fuck knows where. <laughs> Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. <laughs> there was some knocking and he said, please let me back in. It was a joke and like, you know, I had to like honor his words. So like, I couldn't let him back in. <laughs> when Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. I think Shadow was probably trying to protect us, you know? So when Amy came through not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. Oh yeah, she's the birthday girl. So you're letting key. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? He got bored of the books, dude. <laughs> By shadow locking doors. And what is Rue searching for? And who is Sus? I don't know. They don't, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. And we will do that, Knuckles, don't worry. More information than I expected to get here, but it seems we can move on. Alright, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. <laughs> I liked it better when he wasn't talking to What the fuck, dude? Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Burnaby the Loser. Let's head to the library. 
on it. This is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Barney be the loser! Coming. I think we're gonna check this out next time though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually wanna carry on playing this game, I'm not gonna lie. This is super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more of this. I'm probably gonna play it through to completion anyway, because like, it's fucking Sonic. It's fun as shit, okay? Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.